Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you very heartily now to our live presentation on the Fair Bau. Uh, I wish you all the best for the new year, success and of all healthiness. Fair Bau, this year not from Munich, but we are here digital in Tumlingen by Fischerwerke in the beautiful Black Forest. Uh, very nice to see you here. My name is Mark and I will guide you through the live presentation with the subject BIM, Building Information Modeling. You have the possibility to ask questions in your Teams browser. We will try to answer it as good as possible during the live presentation. Otherwise, please don't forget to write your name in and then we will come afterwards to you with the answer. Uh, building information modeling and fixings. What are the challenges? Which applications are possible or interesting? What is the benefit for you? How can it help you in your processes? Our referent will give you an overview over the business activities from Fisher and explain you the building information modeling in fixings. He has more than 20 years uh, um, experience in fixing technology, works for more than 20 years in this subject, did his PhD in it, has more than 10 years intensively dealt with the building information modeling and is member of the executive board from Fisher. So I welcome very heartily Dr. Oliver Geibig. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, Wolfgang, thank you for your kind introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, um, a warm welcome also from my side. I'm happy to have you here. Unfortunately, this time not um, present, which I would much more prefer and um, appreciate, but unfortunately, um, and according to really reasonable reasons, this is um, in a digital format now. Um, but what I would like to thank, first of all, the organizers of BAU to make it happen in the format as it is. And yeah, let's think positive. Let's make the best out of it and let's keep our fingers crossed that this situation will change as soon as possible. We are broadcasting now here from the from the nice black forest when I'm looking out of the window. It's everything white, a lot of snow we have here. And um, what I don't want to miss is to wish you all, it's still the beginning of the year, a great, a successful um, and also healthy year 2021. Now, before I start in the topic of BIM, I would like to quickly tell you who is the Fisher Group of Company, and then I will uh, jump into the topic. Uh, this is our owner, Professor Klaus Fischer. He is um, the son of our founder, Arthur Fischer, um, so a family-owned company in the second generation, and he um, has this bold statement, the biggest asset and the important success factor of our company are our employees, not equipment and buildings. And this is a bold statement, which I can several times underline. This is what I have perceived and my experience here in the company for the last years, one and a half years uh, that I'm now with Fisher. And um, yeah, we, we meet each other, we, we um, treat um, each other with respect and also with appreciation. Another advantage, just to mention one of those uh, for a family owned company. Also, this is something that I pretty much appreciate. We have quick and direct decision making processes and this helps us to move forward and to be always prepared um, for the future. Now, this is who we are. So where we are from sales perspective now, I'm happy um, that we have um, already 50 subsidiaries in 38 countries. So we are present more or less worldwide. Um, sales we have in 150 countries uh, via dealers and via our export department. This is where we are from sales, where we are from our production. Now for the 
fixing systems. We have a global network. We have here, um, we are uh, present in Germany here on our, um, in our headquarter in, in the Black Forest and also in the south in Freiburg and Denslingen. Then we are present in the Czech Republic, in Italy, in Vietnam, in China, in Brazil and Argentina. Now, how big is the company? This is our success story of the last years. We are close to 1 billion euro um, on cross sales and we have altogether 5,200 employees. Our main business divisions are first of all the um, Fisher fixing systems. This is also our biggest division and this is where I'm um, head of business units and engineering and member of the executive board as already was mentioned by Wolfgang. Then we have the Fisher automotive um, systems. We have Fisher technique. This is an intelligent construction kit for, for children to, to make sure that already children start to to handle technique and to get um, in a in a playing style um, um, towards this um, engineering um, business um, for the future. Then we have our own consulting company, Fisher Consulting, for internal and external customers, and we have Fisher L and T Automation. This is um, for touch systems and multi-touch systems. Now we came all the way along with one single small anchor, which was a, a nylon anchor, the famous S anchor, the gray one. You all might know this anchor and that was in the past uh, a good start and, uh, and the first patent we got in 1958 on this anchor. However, in our days, um, the clear trend goes much more towards system chains, system solutions. So the anchor on itself will lose its importance. We're talking about systems, solutions, services that come along with the, with the products, with the systems and, and also software. This will have much more importance. Therefore, we already started some years ago to go into these systems. We have here the Fisher System Tech um, the system world uh, here to mention also only the biggest ones. We have Fisher Facade Systems. This is a full portfolio for invisible fastening of light ventilated facade panels for natural stones, for ceramics and also glass. We have Fisher Installation Systems full range of, of uh, products for fixings of heating, ventilation and air condition related applications. We have Fisher Firestop, also a comprehensive uh, product range. Um, the question is always what is the full range? So I would say a comprehensive range of passive fire protection, um, tested and approved systems in compliance with international standards. And last but not least, we, we acquired this company BWM uh, facade systems. This is um, for substructures for light ventilated facade. Let me um, close the, the presentation of the of the um, company with two project uh, references. One is the Alhamra Tower in Kuwait City. Here we have 100,000 installed Fisher products mainly this um, undercut anchor um, that comes from the facade systems, this FZP. Uh, the Alhamra tower is the, the right one, the slightly uh, um, curved tower and the, the light part. This is the natural stone and this was um, fastened with this undercut anchor. And the last example, and uh, you can trust me, I could continue a lot with those um, nice uh, um, um, references, uh, but the Louvre um, in Abu Dhabi uh, in the Emirates, here we have around 80,000 installed Fisher products here, mainly our, our well-known stat anchor FAZ2 and also some smaller anchors for fixing of electrical and installation of pipes.
are coming to building information modeling. And don't worry, I will not um, give you definitions of BIM or explain what BIM is. You all know that by heart, um, I, I can imagine. But uh, I would quote, like to quote one study of Roland Berger here. There is no alternative to digitalization, even on building site. Construction needs to catch up. Um, and I can tell you construction is catching up. A lot of things have changed in the last years already. However, there's still a quite uh, way to go. This quote came from a uh, publication in from a study in um, 2016, so um, roughly five years ago, but it's still valid. So building information modeling as a mega trend, or I would even um, go a step, a step um, higher, um, the digital transformation of the society or the digital transformation of the construction industry. Um, that is something that is a mega trend. And the question is, what does this mean for us? And let me just focus on two aspects. First aspect is, um, and that is a given, decisions on details are taking in a much earlier phase of the construction. That is a given that is also necessary when, when talking building information modeling. And the question is, what consequence has this for us as a supplier? And while we were talking in the past to trade traders, to DIY, the stakeholders, the context in projects are significantly changing. Today, we have started to, to talk to building owners, to architects. We're heavily working and intensifying our contact, our network to structural engineers, to specialized engineers, as we want to be very early, early in this project um, to, uh, to bring the optimized solutions to our, to our um, customers. And the earlier you're in the project, the better you can consult uh, those stakeholders and the more economic the solutions will be that you offer here. A second mega trend um, in this whole digitalization um, animal is smart cities, smart homes. So buildings are more and more complex. Everything is connected to each other. So as I already mentioned, the single anchor will lose the importance. But what we are working on is to, to have advanced smart, intelligent, connected, fixing solutions um, to do much more than just transferring the loads in the base material. And this is also these two things going to different stakeholders on one side and also developing um, smarter solutions uh, than only bringing the load in the um, base material. These are things that are changing for us. Now, the, um, what, we, what we are also changing um, is we are having a clear and a strong focus on the requirements, on the challenges of our planners and our customers. So we are more and more understanding their needs their challenges um, to in order to fulfill those needs with products, with um, delivery service, with consultancy and so on. So what you see in the lower part of the slide is, the, is um, industry 4.0. This is the digital production, the digital processes here. Since years, we are making sure that we are top notch on how we produce our products and uh, and also the the, um, the processes. Now, um, bringing that along to our customers with digital logistic, digital marketing, also digital services, digital sales by different channels, and also digital products 
um, what I already mentioned, some kind of intelligence in our products. This is what keeps us um, what keeps us busy now since um, quite some time. And for sure, what also um, what we also can derive out of that are digital business models. And, and as I said, not only the hardware, but also the software, the services, the um, other ways of, of digital business models um, are uh, moving now fast. And you need to keep an eye on that. You need to observe very carefully the trends to, to make sure that you're also uh, competitive in the future. Now, I already mentioned um, digital sales, so especially in those um, crazy Corona times, um, it was uh, the right decision for us to, to partner up with e-commerce entities. One of the biggest, I mean, that is not a secret, uh, with um, Amazon we partnered up, so you can buy all our products at Amazon, and this is, um, I can tell you, significantly growing. And this is more and more fulfilling the need of our customers. Now, I already mentioned that we are that we are take the the challenges and the the um, requirements of our partners very serious, and um, along the full value chain. Um, and here I just mentioned. Um, the owners, the architects, structural or uh, general planners, specialized engineers, general contractors, um, installers, foremen, um, all along the full value chain, um, all the way down um, to facility management. Now, um, the question is now we, we understood who we are, we understood the, the, the concepts or, or our, our rationale behind for, for BIM. Now the question is what are we offering? What are our offers, our services to planners and engineers? And here I would like to uh, divide and probably it's not as black and white as I'm um, explaining now, but um, there is one group that just ask for digital content and uh, there's another group um, who asks also for for um, digital services for engineering support for support on site for um, modeling for example and both types of of customers we we are um, taking serious and we are also uh, bringing our solutions. Um, first of all, those who only ask for digital content, there we have a digital, um, I would call that a digital binder, a digital um, um, document binder, not just saying approval binder, a digital document binder. And there you can find uh, the latest status of all our approvals, test reports, um, be it in the anchor, in the anchor channel business, be it in the in the post installed rebar business in, with our wood screws and so on. So this binder is regularly updated and here you find all the documents as a structural engineer that you need um, to do your work. Then we have um, our homepage where we also have selectors and filters um, in order to find the right products that you need. There we also have apps, um, um, anchor um, selecting apps where you find for your right application the right solution, but this would go too far now to mention everything. Now we also are present in at BIM Object and um, for me still, this is the platform in the BIM business with the largest market reach and, and um, it would not be the right thing not to be there. So we, we are there with our products, also with families, and you can download those um, for free from BIM object. We also have a cut platform and or you could call it cut BIM platform where you can um, 
load uh, download all your, your products in in the detail level you define and also in the format you you need them be it 2d 3d be it revit be it um, ifc or whatever format you need then we have our online calculation software um, here you can see cfix online you all find them at my fisher so everything at one place one login and then you can um, have all your documents all your your trainings and certificates and and also the design software online there and for sure 24 7 available and last not least this is our experience suite with um, a software for installation um, design handrail rebar um, anchor mortar facade and also our wood screws so this is for for those for this those stakeholders who just ask for the content and want to do their selection their design on their own of course we will also support them when they have questions the other group is more uh, the group that asks also for service um, that goes beyond the pure um, delivery of um, content so here we um, we have defined services based on a study based on several interviews we had in the field uh, to understand the requirements of our planners and customers and this for sure also along the service phases of the um, um, fee structure of architects and engineers when looking to Germany and also at Rebar Royal Institute of British Architects when uh, going to UK. What you can see here is first of all a consulting. Um, this consulting is even before the project starts to, to define the boundary conditions you need for uh, BIM projects. Then you see here the real detailed engineering um, that can be done by our strong back office team that we have ramped up. Um, you see here field to BIM. Also, this is a service. We see that um, in the next slide, also an overview. We, uh, we do laser scanning and define a point cloud. And out of this point cloud, we uh, create a model and uh, provide that model um, to you as a service. Then you see the support on site. You see then here BIM to field. So the model, how it comes with a total station to the field. And here you can see the tablet of a foreman, for example. You see then the full, um, the full solution or also the only the products um, you can see here at BIM object, depending on your requirements and also preferences. Now, what is our service portfolio in general? Um, you see the BIM consulting, BIM engineering as a service for our customers. There, the good thing is we have different divisions. We have the Fisher fixing solutions. We have also the Fisher consulting and we have Fisher system tech. And with those different divisions, we can also cover a broad range of services from the engineering consulting before a project starts, digital OEM business, we have 3D laser scanners and robotic total stations in operation to, to make sure that we can offer that service. We have lean construction, lean design. So here we are also consulting via the Fisher Consulting, for example, engineering offices on, on lean design. BIM engineering and modeling for sure, BIM to field, field to BIM, and also data management um, all the way along um, until um, monitoring um, that is also more and more required. That is from the service side, from the product side and products and solutions. We have standard products, we have smart products, and also system solutions. This is in a nutshell, all the services that we are already offering and we're we're currently for sure thinking even to offer more now what i see from wolfgang that uh, the first questions came in so yeah yeah 
Oliver, thank you very much for your nice uh, um, words until now. For me, very interesting was to hear that you mentioned the two sides. We have the one customers who want to have digital informations and yeah. other, on the other hand, the, the possibilities, how can we support the customers in other ways? I yeah. think you showed very quite, uh, quite good what we do as Fisher. Um, may I ask you, what are the main uh, advantages, for example, for an engineer who has his um, BIM software and he wants to get information from us, from the anchors, put it in, in the planning, of course, uh, how can he get, in addition, um, support from Fisher? For example, when he puts in the anchors and he, he wants to know how can I measure it outside and so the full range. Yeah. Can you say a word for that, please? Well, in, um, and it, it always depends on, on the level. Um, as I already mentioned, the earlier we get in the project, the better we can support them. We can define, we can set the boundary conditions, we can select the right solutions. I would not just say anchors, the right mm -hmm. solutions. We can make sure that they're that their um, installers are trained. We can go to the construction site, can also test um, on the anchors. We, we are having um, special anchors already where you can monitor along the full um, lifetime if the anchor still works. That is also something that is, uh, is an, um, yeah, um, something where we can differentiate where we can also support our customers and and yeah it, it can be that we're doing the design of mm -hmm. our solutions it can also be that we do the modeling that we we support on on site or in the office um, but it needn't be only um, project related it can also be upfront lean design this needn't be done while a project is coming up, this can be done at any time. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. I think that's very important to know, of course, what you mentioned in the beginning also, is the planning where we want to put more emphasis on it to help. And I like your saying that you say, we have smarter solutions than only bringing the load in the substrate. Definitely. And that must be very clear that we want yeah. to go further and support our customers. And for sure, the standard services that we had in the past, like training you from the, you're one of the trainers for engineers from the academy here. Mm -hmm. If you need trainings or if you need a load test on site or whatever, these services we for sure continue um, delivering. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So then let's move forward here and um, let's show you some examples. Um, you have already seen that picture and it's a bit small, but uh, it's not a problem. Um, we zoom in here. For example, this is the full rack in a 2D uh, view um, for different for different means um, of um, of the uh, MEP business. And you can also see that um, here in the 3D, um, sorry, um, can also see that in a 3D view. Um, this was already um, two slides ago that you saw that very small. Now this was in the in the hospital of in the medical center in Abu Dhabi on the right side. These details we needn't um, dig deeper in. Here you see the bill of material and further information you need on that. Now, a second one, ah, by the way, the, the engineering and the modeling here for that project was in 2019. Then here you see one example, an interesting structure, a roof structure um, in Oman in the Netherlands. Here it was decided to have a supporting structure made of wood and steel and a span length of 50 meters here with some parametric um, programming. It was possible to have um, a much more efficient approach. And um, a last example here you see a BIM application in the former mining 
site at Erzberg in Austria is now used for research project. And this was the first project where in Austria where we offered as a service BIM to field what you can see or field to BIM first with the scanning here. Then we we cleansed the, the point cloud and created a Revit model out of that, did our um, engineering and the modeling of a fire extinguishing system. And then we brought that with field uh, with BIM to field. As you can see here, um, we brought that uh, back to the construction site. Um, on the next slide, you see some further. You see some further um, impressions on that here. The the um, field to BIM um, and here the yeah the model and also here the system for the fire extinguishing um, solution. Now you could think, well, OK, what's new here? Well, they talked they have some services that goes beyond the traditional one as they have different um, divisions here. Uh, Fisher Consulting, yeah, that is something that is quite interesting, but the others, um, this is something which um, could be seen as state of the art. Yeah, I can tell you that it is kind of state of the art, although not everybody can offer that. Um, but what I would like to show you in the in the remaining time or in the next couple of minutes, um, some things that really helps us to improve our efficiency. Um, and um, I would like to start with the possibility to have an efficient positioning of hangers in technical building equipment, this typical heating, ventilation, air condition business. Now you see here different, um, different types of media from a ventilation duct to, to some pipes. Um, and let us um, see more in detail um, what is already possible, what we have programmed so far for inter internal purpose. You go on the um, duct side, you select the duct, and with one click you get all the hangers on. And, and this single piece, you would say uh, probably, yeah, this is nice, but imagine you have that on a full, on a full um, floor, then you, you understand that this is uh, um, yeah, really much um, helping you um, being faster and more efficient. And also the hangers, you see an inclined um, duct here um, with all the right, um, with all the right length of the hangers and this ends in a bill of material and that also helps you to to be more um, yeah, faster in, in um, bringing together all the material you need in the ordering process and so on and so on. The next was um, a pipe ring or a single pipe um, also in different um, directions inclined or parallel to the ceiling then what we also can do um, if you have a group of pipes, you select all the pipes and then the first and the last in the row, and then you get that also filled with hangers in a in a distance that you can define up front with all the the um, hangers, the the channels, and also the pipe rings. Um, this can also be um, a group of pipes. Um, inclined with different um, length of the hangers and um, also this is for sure possible and then um, you still could say okay this is um, yeah th that is a programming but it also works and this shows now the last um, three examples this shows also if you have different diameters um, then the right pipe rings are selected and um, this is uh, something that that really helps us. We are using that on a regular basis already when supporting in our BIM projects um, we are running already. And um, this is something we see in the in the MEP business, but we can also and we also have that in 
different um, divisions already implemented. Um, as you can see um, on the right side, or for those who are familiar with Revit, this is uh, programmed in Dynamo. Now, different um, layers, we, we have decided here to have that still in one layer, but you can also imagine to have that in multi-layer, and now different inclinations and, and different diameters, as in the last example, also this is um, for sure possible. Um, as we can see now um, in this example, also here you get the hangers. And this is linked to the to the Revit model um, so that you can um, also, and this is now of this sequence, the last thing. I mean, that is obvious, but um, that was just to mention that. Uh, the architect might um, decide to change the 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 um, height in in the floor. So if you change the um, the ceiling, um, the, the the level of the the floor, then you can also change that. And what you can see here um, first was um, you can after this um, generation of these hangers, you can also change single um single positions and, and and also delete some of those um, hangers if necessary and here i already mentioned that before the ceiling if you have another height for the ceiling so this also works quite well probably uh, then it would be now too small but um, that was just an example here good now coming to the next example and this is um for sprinklers also here you can be much more efficient if you are not doing the, the hangers for each and every main main track and and um and um deviating side tracks but if you do that um in a whole um you define first the boundary conditions for your for your hangers and also the the distances and um, when having um, defined everything, then yeah, um, you just select. Um, give me a second, then you see that now you you select one um, complete track or also the the full floor, and then you you let it uh, run, um, and then zooming in, you understand that um, you have all the the hangers. Um, also the pipe rings uh, for for the sprinkler, um, also for different diameters, and that um, you can imagine this helps massively to reduce your working time as a planner. So last not least, one final example, and uh, this is an example in the window fixing business um, now it starts um, also here while this is running um, i can tell you that um, as already mentioned in several sections we have um, we have implemented this programming already here you have seen all the windows of a building you select one detail one window type and then you can define the, the um, upper um, detail and the lower detail um, that is now shown in, in the next um, seconds. Um, you define um, how to fasten that in an optimal way with all our products, be it the anchors, uh, be it also the ceiling, which is not coming from us, um, but also the, then the, the screws for the, the wood screws. and um, when having defined all those, you can then um, multiply that and select a um, um, certain number of windows and that this will be transferred. So while this final um, video sequence is running, um, I can animate you still to, to ask questions. Um, okay, now we, we um, arrived at the overview. Now you select all the windows with, with a similar type 
of or similar size and then um, you um, start the running and then it takes some time that would now take 40 seconds, but it will not take 40 seconds. We will not wait 40 seconds now to get the details. Um, in some seconds you see then the details. So feel free to come with your questions. Um, if questions after the presentation come up, don't hesitate to contact Fisher. Um, we are more than happy to support you. Here you can see now for each and every window that you have the, the right fixing and um, what you then for sure can also do, you can here define for the different types um, the, uh, um, yeah, to, uh, to have that at least in the detail, in the 2D detail, um, when you print out a 2D plan that you see for each and every uh, part of the construction, um, what is it exactly? We have our anchor and then you see also the wood screws here, um, the power fast and yeah, that helps us a lot. And um, this is in my perspective also uh, a step towards the future. Is it that the final thing or can you in future have one button where you click and every fastening in a building is implemented? Um, that is uh, needs to be discussed, but um, yeah, we're working on that. We're we're looking forward to an exciting year 2021, and uh, you can imagine we are um, full of ideas um, to bring this uh, to move here further and also faster. So this brings me to the end of the presentation. Thank you for, for very much for your interest. Thank you for, very much for, for watching and um, for um, being with us. Now, are there any questions? Yeah, Oliver, thank you very much for your presentation. Questions, uh, there were no new questions, but I think it was really clear what you mentioned. So for me, it was very clear and especially very nice to see that um, the models just can come in your personal uh, software. That means if we take the gorges and make the screening, the digital screening, it's easy to implement it. Yeah. In this part, I also would like to mention our experience software, which also can be downloaded in an online version yeah. on our German website. If you register on my Fisher portal, it's in the moment only available in German, but then you have an online version what you also can implement. That means you can make your calculations, bring them together with the with the fixings and then bring it together with the digital services. Yeah, then I say thank you very much for You're your pre very good presentation. I say thank you for coming and visiting us. I would like to point our to our other uh, live presentations on the Messebau. They are in German, but they are also in theory and practice apart. apart. So we go also in our practice rooms, show you news of the Fisher Company, and I would like to invite you, come and visit us again. If you have any questions, Oliver told you, please feel free to come to Fisher. We are here for answering your questions, so feel free to come. And so all the best for you and have fun also in the next days in the fair bow. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye.